briefly talk about something that I get asked very frequently, which is why am I waking up between 2 and 3 a.m. in the morning? Why am I not sleeping through the night when I'm on carnivore? Why does it get better when I introduce carbohydrates? Now, I do have a video on carnivore and insomnia, which has helped a lot of people. You can just see in the comments, but I've received messages, emails, that my tip in that video made a big difference, and that tip is to include some fat before bedtime. That fat can do the same thing that carbohydrates do, which is lower cortisol and even increase serotonin. It is sending a signal to the body that it's in a supported place, that it has what it needs. And typically when people are not fat adapted or they are in a state of fight flight mode, the brain is going to be asking for glucose throughout the night, also at 2 and 3 a.m. It could also be a circadian rhythm issue. It could be an adrenal issue. To align your circadian rhythm, my top recommendation would be to use light, so getting red light in your eyes in the morning and evening to mimic the sunrise and sunset, and then avoiding electronics and blue lights at night, which directly interfere with melatonin, serotonin, human growth hormone production at the nighttime hours. Now, if that fat trick doesn't work, if you've watched that video, you've tried it, it doesn't work, my next recommendation would be to increase your electrolytes. It could be that your electrolytes are unstable and that is causing some imbalance that's waking you up. Sodium plays a huge role in insulin sensitivity as well, so that could also play a role in maintaining your blood sugars throughout the night. Blood sugars rising or dipping can wake you up as well. If you are not a person who has to completely uh, stay away from all carbohydrates, then I might recommend a small amount of carbohydrate before bed. This could get you through this season of insomnia to get you closer to healing because sleep is necessary for healing. And if you are not achieving it with the extra fat before bedtime or getting stable electrolytes and getting those down, as long as your electrolytes are stable, you're getting enough fat, you're still not sleeping, you're managing stress to the best of your ability, you're staying away from electronics, maybe try around 15 grams of carbohydrates before bed. This could be in the form of berries. Typically, I recommend strawberries. They are the lowest carb berry, and they don't contain any anti-nutrients. Um, they do contain salicylate, which can be irritating for some people, but that's generally pretty rare. This has been a breakthrough for a lot of people that I've worked with who know that they are in the transition season of healing, detoxing, becoming fat adapted, but they need sleep. So go ahead and have a quarter cup of berries um, after your dinner meal. That could make all the difference. So this is either because it is helping to support the adrenals, lower cortisol because your body is asking for glucose. It might just need a little bit of glucose to be able to sleep, or it could be that those carbohydrates are helping you to maintain your electrolyte status because carbohydrates will elevate insulin, which causes us to hold on to sodium more. And so if your electrolyte formula is not doing that for you, maybe a small amount of carbohydrates could do that for you. So if the other tips haven't helped, I would encourage you to try this. Leave a comment down below on what has helped you with insomnia on either keto or carnivore, all things included.